Are you tired of being chronically ill or in chronic pain and hearing people tell you to just think positive? Don't don't think those illness or pain thoughts. Uh, just, um, you know, like distract yourself and you won't be suffering as much. Yeah, uh, that's ridiculous. I, I really hate that type of verbiage and that approach to being in pain because quite frankly, it's ridiculous. I don't want to be in pain. And yes, <laughs> yes, when in pain, my thoughts tend to circulate around being in pain because I would like to not to. Now, there is a, a bunch of research about mindset because we don't know what else to call it. Like, we don't know what else to call it. That's what they call it in research. So those are the words that we have to use when we're talking about these things, right? There's a difference between acknowledging that there are still beautiful things in the world, that I can still have relationships even though I am chronically ill or because I have pain, um, and being happy about it, being like fakely positive about it. See, the brain will always reject things that are untrue, things that put you in danger, like, I don't know, thinking positively and trying to think away your illness or your pain, that's never going to work. However, I am staring out my back window right now as spring is blooming and I can see the bleeding heart, uh, it's a bush at this point, but I can see the bleeding heart that reminds me of my mama that's been gone for almost six years now. That's not so bad. And you know what? It doesn't make my long COVID any better. And if I were in pain today, it wouldn't make my pain any better, but it makes my life a little better. We can't let our conditions steal life from us. That's where finding things to be grateful for, finding glimmers and bits of happiness in this life as we go through these trials, that's real positivity. If you would like to read more about the difference between toxic positivity and real positivity that can help you with your pain or illness, visit www.restoringvenus.com backslash positive. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments.